Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. Your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you from Troy, Alabama. But let's take a little tour around the state with our SkyCam network. And there's a look from the Inverness SkyCam on Highway 280 as we're getting a little color in the eastern sky. How about a shot where I'll be this afternoon over at Troy University uh, for much of the day for the Pike Piddlers Storytelling Festival. And we can see a little color in the eastern sky there. And the same at Dauphin Island as the sun is rising in the east and uh, on a clear sky for central Alabama. But it's not going to stay that way long. Uh, you can see that there are some clouds to the southwest of us and uh, they will be moving our way during especially the afternoon and evening hours. So we will enjoy plenty of sunshine to start the day. And of course, a uh, weak system coming through, going to give us some rain probably uh, on uh, Sunday evening and into uh, Monday morning. We get a little break and then we get another shot at some precipitation in the upper atmosphere. We've gone to a slightly more uh, warmer flow, shall we say, uh, as the long wave trough is kind of inched off the Atlantic coast just a little bit. But that's not going to last long, as you can see from the uh, overview of temperatures, that we've got lots of cold air up there in Canada still. But it's not that cold here in central Alabama. Uh, we're flirting with the freezing mark around most stations. Uh, I notice uh, Alex City, Calera, Tuscaloosa, all at or just slightly below freezing, but uh, many locations actually just a couple of degrees above freezing, although it's 26 at Fort Payne, so they're well below. Precip-wise, uh, that next system is going to be bringing us rain uh, Sunday afternoon and into the evening hours through uh, about oh Monday morning or so, and then another shot uh, Tuesday as well. So it looks like we're going to get a nice 1 to 2 inch rainfall over central Alabama. The 06 GFS model run this morning and there's the surface high over the eastern Gulf of Mexico as we're beginning to see moisture return into the uh, area to our west and of course that moisture flowing our way in the form of clouds for uh, later today. In the upper atmosphere for Sunday the short wave trough moves uh, much closer, so that means that we should see rain spreading our way. Looks like probably a dry morning, but uh, uh, becoming cloudy at least. And then uh, by afternoon, we should be seeing precipitation spreading over the area. That little short wave zips on out, which means by noon Monday, we should probably be seeing a little break in the action, at least a reduction in the rain, but we'll probably stay cloudy. Uh, and the GFS suggesting uh, just that. By Tuesday, though, and uh, uh, we've uh, got the next big system. We're still under somewhat of a ridge, but the next trough and the big trough is headed our way. And, of course, that's going to be a developing low-pressure system off to the west. And uh, I suspect that by Tuesday afternoon, we'll be fairly wet here. Now, with this system, there is some potential for severe weather. Let's take an intermediate time, and here is midnight. So this is uh, midnight. Uh, Tuesday night, and you can see that the surface low is uh, in the vicinity of, uh, it looks like about Memphis or so, uh, West Tennessee anyway. So it looks like the warm sector could get our way. Now the details will always be in the mesoscale, so we can't um, give any real strong details now, but it certainly looks like, and we'll be watching for the potential that we might see some severe weather. And keep in mind, we, you know, we have severe weather in February as well. By uh, Wednesday at midday, the 2nd of February, uh, the surface low is up in the, uh, the eastern Ohio River Valley, and we're seeing cold air coming into Texas and Oklahoma and Arkansas, Louisiana, and that cold air is headed our way. Uh, so Wednesday will be a bit of a transition day. By Thursday, you can see that that trough is uh, elongated, but it is certainly bringing in some colder air. And indeed, you can see the 540 line all the way down to the vicinity of uh, maybe Montgomery or a little bit further south than that and uh, bringing much colder air to the area. We stay pretty cold on Friday, so uh, going to be a rather brisk day. But on Saturday, we go back to a, a kind of a split flow with uh, that cutoff 
over the Baja area and uh, northwestern Mexico, and that result means that uh, we won't warm up exactly, but certainly we will be warmer than we had been on the previous days. So what about uh, out into voodoo country? Well, with this nice break we're getting this weekend, unfortunately, this is for Tuesday, February the 8th, and there's the big trough back, uh, long wave trough position back over the eastern half of the country, so that means it'll be cold again. And then another really big trough uh, developing around the 13th, which means another potential event for us around the 14th. So no change in sight as far as the possibility of both winter weather and cold weather. So we'll be watching all of those, but remember, those are all voodoo. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by uh, 7.30 or 8 on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.